Hello everyone, this is Al coming to you once again for Kid with Souls of Brooklyn and uh, getting ready for the hurricane. Uh, all the theme parks are closing today by three o'clock. I'm actually, actually have the day off today. My shift was canceled and uh, the airport is closed already. Uh, like I said, all the other theme parks are closing. I'll turn you around right here. We're standing here at Old Town, which is uh, the checkers in Old Town, right across from Celebration, right across from where we live. And uh, things are very quiet. We're gonna walk through Old Town I'm going to keep on showing you some stuff during the day, but let me turn you around here and uh, give you an idea. Uh, as you might imagine, things are very quiet here at Disney, at you know Central Florida, and like I say, this is old town. It's usually jumping. Every one of these tables is empty. As I say, the airport is closed. Very few, a lot, not a lot of traffic on the road. We're in Osceola County, so. Osceola County is going to have a curfew tonight, so after 11 o'clock, you're not allowed on the road unless you're a first responder, um, which I am, but I'm not working, so I'll be inside. And uh, so this is it. So we're going to walk through Old Town in a few minutes after we eat. They got a Nathan's open here right now. I wish my son was here to see it. He loved Nathan's, but um, we're going to go through, so just stand by. Like I said, this is the line for checkers. You see, it's very empty. And uh, there's my dog Curly over there, the family. So, uh, stand by, I'll show you some more stuff on the hurricane. So here we are in Old Town. It's more like ghost town right now. There are some people here. Looks like my dog came along and found a friend. Curly always finds a friend. I ah, found another Bichon. What's his name? It's Bella, it's a girl. Oh, sure, Bella. Yeah. You guys ready for the hurricane? Ready as we can be. Yeah? You guys live down here? I uh, know. Okay. Hi, Bella. Carl, you like her? You want her to be your girlfriend? Yeah. All right, have a good one. You too. Bye. So, yeah, you can see Old Town, which is normally, I mean, not really normally jumping on a weekday, but like, there's usually a lot more people here. This is typically a night spot, and uh, maybe I'll get some uh, night shots later, I don't know. But like I said, there is a curfew tonight at 11 o'clock, so we have to be in. But you can just see, folks, this is the Checkers Drive-In. It's 2.30 uh, in the afternoon. This place is normally very, very busy. I mean, this is 192. It's a main thoroughfare all the way through from Melbourne up toward the Disney area. And this is usually a very popular. I think this is probably the most popular, most busy Checkers in America. And there's nothing going on there right now. So we're going to walk around a little more Old Town, give you a view of Old Town if you've never seen it. This has been here a really long time. Um, it was here in 1977, I think the first time I ever came here, I was here. Could be wrong on that, but I know it was definitely here in 84 when I came back. Uh, that's the newest edition over there, Nathan's just opened up last month. So let's take a look around and we'll see. As you can see, a lot of thrill rides here. One's called the Vomitron, I don't know if that one's called the Slingshot, I think it is. So here we go, we're walking around. Yeah, there it is, brand new Nathan's. Not a soul inside there. But uh, some of the stores are open. I mean, we have uh, some stores. We'll see, I'll show you the main avenue here in Old Town. If you've never been here, it's really nice. It's a perfect spot to come to at night or during the day. Perfect if like, you know, you're coming in for a half a day. See how big it is? It's a really big place and there's all unique shops in here. Really fascinating shops, like all kinds of eclectic type of shops, you know what I mean? Like, not the typical, no, I don't think there's any franchises in here except for Nathan's and Checkers is on the outside, but these are all individual owners. These really aren't, um, like I said, franchises. You got Jimmy John's right there, but the food places, yeah, they are, but there are there also are a lot of other, other just regular things in here. Yeah, so we got some, uh, one shop. With the rock and roll experience, it's all rock and roll t-shirts. So can't seem to go too far without thinking of Matt. I mean, my son used to come in this place a lot. Really nice place. I'm gonna turn it off because I don't want a YouTube strike, but we're gonna go and take a look. Lots of amazing stuff here. Matt's favorite group there, Rush. A lot of rock and roll stuff here. Everywhere I go, I see symbols of my son Matt. This is 
what he loved, rock and roll, guitars, loud music, ACDC. And this is a magnet store. You get stuck on this really quick. All kinds of magnets through here, two for eight. This is magnet heaven. We got some really nice ones in here. Look at these. Pretzels, cakes, croissants. Carrie's not here right now. Carrie's outside. Um, they allow dogs here, folks, um, just so you know. But uh, Carrie just saw a poster outside the rock and roll shop that said, Sorry, Mom. So she wasn't able to come in. Holy cow, folks. The first one I come to. Little Sheriff with Matt on there. He's giving us symbols. I mean, folks, I'm not even seeking this out. This is just showing up. I'm talking about a symbol for my wife, and I see one for myself. So incredible. All right, folks, gonna continue on the tour and put this on pause a second. All right, so we have the British shop here. So this guy has been on guard for a long time. I think he's an original here. He's been here since I came, like in 1984. But in here is everything British that you want. Hi. Oh wow, British candies. Oh, this is the coolest thing, a Coca-Cola cabinet, like a British telephone. That's really awesome. So yeah, you can get all your goods in here from England. So I say, folks, it's a really nice place to come. You can really enjoy yourself here. It's a nice little departure from the... Uh... Oh look, we got Harry Potter here too. Amazing, amazing. All the different robes. We got the sorting hat. Hmm. I did that once. I got Slytherin. I was kind of surprised about that. But you got a safe can there. Put all your money in a baked beans can. And here's all the jelly shots. I don't know much about this stuff, but jelly shots. I think they used to have a mechanical bull here. This is a bar here at Old Town. And uh, the memory serves. They have a mechanical bull, which I think used to be, I don't know, they might have taken that out, but there was a mechanical bull in here for the longest time. I guess maybe not anymore. Uh, plenty of bathrooms. Auntie M's pretzels, a lot of the old fashioned like Elvis Presley, Marilyn Monroe type of shops. Um, really cool place to come, like you said. And uh, it is emptied out, folks. Let me tell you, this is just... I mean, even though folks are back up in school and up in the north, it is really emptied out here. And uh, well, for rightly so. I mean, uh, safety first, folks. This is what it comes down to, safety first. Electronic store. I love these things, they're seen on TV. Here we have the quintessential homemade ice cream store. Also empty. They have a haunted house here. It's active at nights, of course. And you can see it's starting to rain. It's uh, raining off and on. We're getting the weather bands. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna start. It's gonna start picking up in the afternoon. Hey, what would it be? We're in the south in Old Fashioned Shooting Alley with Deliverance playing. How can you beat that? All right, I'm not gonna try it today, but you guys can try it when you come on down. So there's just certain things in the south that you never really get used to. A beef jerky outlet. Try before you buy. Alrighty. Oh, uh, yup. This was another favorite place for my son and I. Spent many a day in here in this arcade. Old Town Arcade. Good stuff, good stuff. Like I can say, folks, you know, one of the things I like about it, I'm very dog friendly, and I like the fact that you could bring your dog here, because we're dog people, and, uh, it's really nice. I mean, I, I'm glad, you know, because I was a merchant for a long time. And, you know, the assumption is, you know, you, you watch your dog, you keep him on a leash, you're mindful, you're responsible. Why not? I mean, it's one thing going into a food establishment, but like I say, I'm very dog friendly. So Old Town is very dog friendly. So bring your pooches. And they got a lot of thrill rides, too. So this is kind of cool, you know, it's a tune up or a tune down from the major theme parks, and it's right off of 192, right here next to Celebration. In fact, when you're in Celebration on Friday and Saturday nights, you can actually hear from North Village some of the music from over here. 
but you know, coming from Brooklyn, I mean, we don't we don't, we don't live in North Village, we live in East Village, but that was never a problem because coming from Brooklyn, we were used to a lot of noise. But they do get some complaints over there for that. But that's I guess if you're coming from a really quiet area. So this is my favorite store here in Old Town. It's all the gas and oil, all the uh, Old Town, no Florida. You know, I'm not much in the mood for buying anything at this point, but this is like my favorite spot to come to. It's got all the cars and all the classic stuff, signs. So initially, like I said, right now, not much in the mood for buying anything, but this is a really nice store. This is my favorite one down here. This is really fun, folks. This is um, driver's licenses. So you got uh, Yoda, you got Stephen Colbert, Marilyn Monroe. These are pretty cool. Now you got this one as a, for instance, a Superman. And uh, you can see, date of birth, 1938, 235 pounds. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's my favorite, Batman. Nice, nice. This is just nice. This reminds me of an old place we had in Brooklyn called um, Candyland. Candyland, Candy World, up on 9th Avenue, Prosper yeah. Park West. For those of my subscribers who remember that, just really, really amazing. Of course, the candy's gone up since then, but same concept. Really nice. That, in the south again, shotgun shells with names on them, okay. So as you can see the impending weather, up in the sky, it's getting dark, we're in the back of Old Town right now, this is, uh, like I said, the farthest end, where I showed you from before, and what's great is it's right near all the hotels on 192, you can walk on 192, there's a sidewalk, Looks, it's just really, really nice at night, popcorn company, you know, a lot of this stuff brings back so many memories, I mean, I guess what I should, could tell you folks out there is that um, enjoy your children while you have them because you never know what's going to happen. That's why I'm happy. We, I can say we really enjoyed Matt 100%. And close to him. So many memories. Bittersweet ones now, but so if you guys are out there, I mean, uh, do what you can for your children while you can. So another side of Old Town right there, that's the opposite end I was on before, slingshot, and once again the weather, dark, systems moving in, it's very breezy, you can see the flags right here blowing, they're starting to pick up, probably, I'm going to say about a 10 or 15 mile an hour wind at this point, so it's coming in, it's due to hit tonight, so it's going to be a lot of rain, a lot of wind, and I uh, hope you're enjoying this video, so I know it's a little long, it's kind of turning into a tour of Old Town, but, you know, I could use the mental therapy, just, you know, babbling on here, so, uh, stay tuned. So this is just some idea, folks, this is a general store here at Old Town, this is what we're starting to see more of now, the, uh, business owners are starting to put up the traditional wood on the windows, so, they're going to be open for a little while longer, so they have that half done, and, uh, we're seeing more and more of that around Osceola County. Just in case, because you know, like especially the palm trees are gonna, palm trees not to turn up too many roots, so pieces could fly off. So it's a smart idea. So we're gonna be seeing more of that along the way. So we're back out on 192. Now let me tell you folks, the breeze does feel good. I mean, I wish we weren't getting this thing, but it's been very hot down here. It's typical for Florida, but it's, uh, it's a nice breeze. I mean, it's too bad that this has to come along with it, but it, uh, just stay safe out there if you're watching. Stay safe and uh, have some extra food and water for your pets. And uh, thanks for tuning in. This is Al signing off, and I'll see you real soon. Thank you.